Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading for August 2021. This is going to be a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can get a personal reading to get more specific information. All that information is in the description box. And also because this is general, that means that the roles can be reversed. So let's see, what is going on with Pisces overall energy for the first half of August? All right, and we have Purge. I think we got this for Cancer. All right, so definitely a lot of emotions coming up to be released is what I said for Cancer. And I do feel that it is something similar with you. Um, it could even be, I'm getting just a, a sense of more sadness though, um, for you though. So purging, so yes, um, possibly crying and just really feeling the intensity of some difficult emotions here. All right, that's what I'm getting here. So it could be you, could be someone else that you are connected to, but we'll see. I kind of feel like this is you. All right, so Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of August, 2021. Alright, so for your situation, we have the tower as the very first card out, and I'm not surprised to see that after what I just said um, with the purge card. So definitely feeling like something is coming to an end, that something is just being destroyed, that it just feels like the world is um, coming to an end, or just um, your world is crashing down. Alright, so obviously if you do not feel like this is your energy, then it could be the other person, okay? Take the messages as they make sense for you. Um, this is crossed by the Knight of Swords. So yeah, I feel like this is actually creating a lot of um, restlessness within you. Um, possibly you're wanting to take some kind of an action towards this, but you're feeling like that action is just... I, I feel like you're just feeling so much, maybe even adrenaline, that it keeps you from being able to take action or, or doing anything. It's more like standing by and watching this tower like just come crashing down is what it's feeling like. So very intense actually. Um, again, if it's not you, it could be your person. For the recent past, we have the Ace of Pentacles and for the near future, we have the Five of Pentacles. All right, Pisces. Um, I feel like recently you felt like maybe there was some hope or that it felt like maybe there was a way that things, you could put things together and take a new path, find a practical solution for whatever it is that is going on here. And apparently, obviously, at the moment, it's feeling like that didn't really happen. Um, and coming up, it does feel like there is, a, again, a sense of loss, a sense of loss here. Um, let's see. For you, we have the Queen of Pentacles. For them, we have the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of Earth showing up here. Some of you might be dealing with an Earth sign, or maybe you have strong Earth in your charts. More about you, we have the Six of Cups. For them, we have the High Priestess, and the potential outcome is the Ten of Cups. Okay, <laughs> good, okay. So that's very positive, all right? Um, definitely love and the potential outcome here in one way or another. So for you, even if this is you having this tower moment, um, I feel like you're really trying to nurture yourself. You're really trying to find your grounding when it feels like the ground beneath your feet is being shattered kind of a thing. Um, so that's actually good because you are trying to take care of yourself even though you still, you're wanting a reconciliation or you're thinking about the past. 
All right, so if you don't want a reconciliation, this is you just having some nostalgia about the past or about, you know, what could have been here, which you feel is now not something that is um, a possibility, maybe. It's coming through like that. Um, for the other person here, It's interesting because I do feel like this person wants um, commitment. So I, I don't know exactly what the issue is here. All right. You would know. Um, obviously, I can't get all the details. This is a general reading. But this person is definitely either wanting commitment with you or um, I feel like they're listening to their intuition. There is the sense of wanting a commitment. They they do see you as a person that they could have had a long-term connection with. And at the same time, they're also following their intuition. Maybe it has to do with this stability with you. Maybe it's, I don't know. But whatever it is, I also get the sense that this person is kind of keeping to themselves here with the High Priestess. Not being very open. Um, we do have the Ten of Cups, though, in that potential outcome. So I feel like this is, you know, also a message from Spirit saying everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay regardless. So let's start clarifying. And I feel like I, just judging from the comments, I feel like I do get um, quite a bit of cross-watchers for Pisces. So if you are a Pisces, it definitely could be that the roles are reversed. All right, so let's clarify that tower with the Knight of Swords. All right, the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. All right, yeah, definitely a lot of Earth energy. A lot of Earth energy. Um, I would not be surprised if you're dealing with an earth sign or if you have strong earth in your chart. Um, you wanted this commitment as well. I feel like this is this is a situation and it just makes sense, right? This is why you would be feeling this way. Um, because you also felt like this was something very, very special or just something that would have led to marriage or maybe it even was a marriage for some of you. And I feel like you're just having a really hard time finding that balance. It could even be possibly that one of you was not able to give 100% um, commitment to the other person. There wasn't an even give and take. Somebody was taking more than, than they were giving kind of a situation. Um, but at the moment, I feel like you actually don't know what to do when it comes to the situation. You're, you're kind of contemplating giving something possibly, to the situation or to this person. But you feel like that might be a little bit impulsive and I feel like so So you're, you're holding back from taking that action. Um, for some of you, it could even be that you just feel like you're not, you can't give enough. Like that, that things are so bad at the moment that no matter what you do, no matter how much you give, that it's just not going to make a difference. Um, let's see, let's see the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like you are beginning to work on your own self here. Either that or you just have another, you have an earth sign very heavily on your mind. Let's see, the moon, the sun, and the Emperor, wow, okay. Oh, it's almost coming. <laughs> the first thing that came to me was like, this person is your sun and your moon and it's everything you want. Um, Pisces. There is some truth that is being shed on some secrets or the sun is shining on the dark. So there are things that you are now beginning to see that you possibly were not able to see before. And I feel like a part of that is that you can be this emperor. You can take control of the situation. You do have more control over the situation than you think. It's all a matter of actually taking the situation into your hands and 
actually doing something about it rather than just sitting in the in the tower energy. Of course, it's okay to take a little bit of time to process whatever it is that's going on here, um, especially when we have the purge card, but I feel like you have more control here than you know. You know something to be true. You know what it is that would actually make things right, but you have some hesitations. You have a little bit of fear here. All right, and obviously with the moon coming through, this is your energy. Um, so I do feel like, you know, you're using this, this tower to kind of, um, whether you realize it or not, to actually find yourself. To find yourself and to move towards that happiness. But I feel like this is something new for you, that this is just something you're now beginning to understand and to see. Let's see the Six of Cups. Alright, we have the Two of Pentacles. One second, because I dropped it. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, see, so there is that sadness. There is that purging. Um, thinking about the past and just, you know, being, being sad about it and, and having a hard time dealing with it. Like I said, it's okay to allow yourself to feel that. Um, and purge those emotions. Don't deny those emotions. Don't repress those emotions. Don't push them away. And then take control. Take control over the situation because there's always something you can do about it. All right, so let's see your person here. Let's see the Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the King of Wands. All right, so this person is feeling this emotions for you as well. Look at that. They, we do have love here. We do have that stability, wanting that commitment. I feel like that is still there, although there is also a sense of disappointment um, on, their, on their end when it comes to, I feel this King of Wands is also representative of you being that emperor. So there's disappointment when it comes to you not having taken on that role and not having taken charge, not having um, moved forward in whatever way that you are feeling called to. Um, there's definitely, a, I feel like this person does still have passion for you as well. Um, but they're kind of, I feel like they're putting, they feel like they need to put themselves first right now and find their own stability. The love is there, but I feel like this is also them um, having to take control over their own life, really. And pretty much doing that. Let me see the High Priestess. Again, roles can definitely be reversed. I can't stress that enough. Five of Pentacles showing up. Ooh, for them as well. All right, and the Two of Swords. Okay, so this person has felt rejected by you. And I feel like this is why we have the Two of Swords. This is why this person is keeping their distance. This is why this person might not be really um, communicating to you much or kind of, you know, being a little bit mysterious, keeping their distance. Because they feel like, well, you know, the situation has come to a point where I don't see what else I can do. I don't see what else there is for me to do. I feel like I've been rejected and they do feel I don't want to say that they feel lonely because I feel like they're actually moving towards a good space for their own self, but they're still open to this. They're still open to this. They just feel like you you have, um, or that they have been rejected in some way. So let's see the Five of Pentacles in the near future. All right, we have the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords. So I'm very happy to see this Four of Swords um, clarifying these here. So yeah, okay, so coming up in the near future, 
there is a sense of loss. There is that stress. There is that anxiety, right, um, that you've been dealing with, but there is also recovery and healing, okay? So whatever it is that is going on, there is some healing that is coming up for you. And again, you know, this is in this is in your hands. It's actually your own choice. You know, it's kind of like, do you want to stay in this five of pentacles energy feeling like the victim and that, you know, this tower is just coming crashing down on you? Or do you want to take control? Take control over the situation. I feel like you're being given that option here. Because our future is not written in stone. We always have free will and we, we can make choices. Yeah, sometimes, you know, our souls want us to move in a certain direction. So it feels like it's written in stone in that sense that it was meant to be because that that was your one of your purposes maybe, right? But you always have a choice though when it comes to what it is that you do. And so I feel like here, yes, you have this choice to really recover from this and heal. Heal that anxiety, heal that pain. Heal whatever this this is rather than being being just pessimistic. And I feel like if you do that, well, that's when this Ten of Cups comes in for you. So let's actually clarify that Ten of Cups. Ten of Swords, the Hanged Van, I do want to get one more. Alright, and Judgment. Okay, so, the message here for you is that, alright, because this is the main energy, right? The Ten of Cups. This is a possibility for you in your future, alright? Um, for the potential outcome here, and pretty soon as well, okay? It, this doesn't have to be like months down the line, all right? This is just <laughs> meant to be um, for half a month. So the message here is that this is definitely in your potential. And again, it's coming through as it is up to you, right? This pain, the Ten of Swords, can be in the past, all right? The hardest part will be over. Then it's, it's a matter of you just seeing things from a different perspective. Like I said, not being so pessimistic, seeing things from a new way and having that rebirth, you know, going about things in a different way, um, having a transformation, doing things differently than before, being able to make that discernment. Like, why is it that specific things led up to this tower and led to me experiencing that? And what is it that I can do now? To make things different. Yeah, okay, I went through the pain. I learned from that. But we have judgment here. This is a rebirth. Starting over from the beginning, being given a second chance. And it's all about how do you choose to perceive this? See things from a different way. Take a step back and just looking at the situation and really making that, that discernment that this pain can be in the past. All right, and you can have this Ten of Cups, which is ultimate happiness, love, fulfillment. So, Pisces. Pretty difficult energy here that you are experiencing, if this is you. If not, it's it's your person. And um, I do see you moving in that direction of of judgment and having that Ten of Cups. All right, so if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. All right, and we have Orphan. Okay, so this is all about feeling like you are alone, feeling that um, victim mentality that I was talking about before, which is your choice. So I feel like that is being stressed here again. This is obviously how you might be feeling right now, but again, it is your choice. Whether you wanna stay in this, um, in this energy or not. So, Pisces, I am going to leave it at that. Those were the messages for you. Thank you so much for watching and much love.